Welcome to Daryl's Beekeeping Videos. I'm a master beekeeper and tonight's lesson is on frame grips. Should you use frame grips or not is dependent on your personal preference as is most things in, base in beekeeping. It's up to your personal choice whether you like them or not. Uh, basically what a frame grip is as by its name implies is you simply reach in and you grab the frame or you pop it out first either one and then you grasp it and it allows you to handle a frame with one hand. There are many different types of frame grips on the market. The most common are this little metal one. I'll put it a little closer. This one has, they all have some type of claw. You can see the claw and then some kind of handle. This one has a hive tool of sorts. It kind of looks like a screwdriver, but I'm sure it's meant to be a hive tool to pry the hive uh, frames up or the hive open if you need to. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive um, in this style, in the basic style. Next up the food chain in price is this big thick frame grip and it has a zip tied spring. I'll see if I can get it to show up in the camera. Uh, you've got this zip tied spring that allows it to spring back and forth open. Um, and again, I'll explain this here in a second. Uh, that is my least favorite and is probably the most expensive of the basic types. And then if you go to some beast uh, conventions, uh, they'll sell this uh, fancier uh, frame grip that has a locking nut on it that allows you to lock the grain, the grip uh, tight. Um, again, I'll show you how to use this. So I talked about the basic one, which is uh, basically really thin metal, which I find it uh, easy to hold uh, and just reach in and grab the frames and pull them out with. Uh, if you have a frame that is propolis thin or, or you're having difficulty to get it out, you can use your J hook in this case pop it up. Once you get it popped up, then you can use your frame grip, reach in and grab it. And again, you want to grab it somewhere toward the center so it's, that frame is balanced, especially if it has uh, full of honey. Uh, that way you can easily grip it and maneuver it. You never want to hold a frame horizontal uh, because the, the weight of the brood or the honey can actually pull that comb out of the frame. So make sure that you always maintain it vertically of some sort. Um, again, However, you, again, just hold it vertical, um, but never horizontal. Um, so that's how to use this smaller one. This bigger one, I, even though it's more expensive than that sm smaller one, I find this one very cumbersome simply because of the thickness of the handle and because they've got this zip tie around this uh, spring to keep it from falling out. Um, and if you were to remove that zip tie, that spring can come out. I actually did it when I first bought it and removed that zip tie um, and that spring popped off and almost lost it. But again, it's very cumbersome to use. Uh, again, same concept. It can reach around the frame um, to pull it up. And then from there, I can simply, uh, you can see I just about lost it because it's so hard to hold. Um, so again, I just pull it up and then again, you can flip around and you see how hard it is even with that spring in there. So again, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Um, even though it's more expensive than uh, the, the other one. This other one though is a little nicer. Uh, again, it's a little more on the pricier side. Again, I, get, I found it at the different uh, V conventions that I've gone to and I'm sure it's on online. It's called the Little Mule. Um, so anyway, Little Mule Bee Supply LLC. Um, so anyway, um, but what's neat about it is it has a wider area to grasp the frame. You can reach down, you can squeeze it, and then from there you can use this lock nut. And you saw how I lost control of that bigger um, frame grip. And I've got big hands, so it just it, it's kind of unwieldy simply because of the spring is a little too strong. Um, but once you've locked that in, I can now hold this with a finger or two should I need to. And then from there, I can just flip it around, flip it around, and then use it. But again, I personally don't use these. Uh, simply because they're a little unwieldy to use. Um, but again, if that's your thing, go for it. Um, 
way I do mine. You watch my other videos uh, on hive tools um, or how to inspect a hive. You see that I'll use either the traditional L-shaped hive tool or I will use the J-hook hive tool. And my favorite hive tool is to simply use the J-hook. I come up underneath the end bars and again I have a video on how to do that. I pull it up, pull it up, lift it up, and then from there I can just hold it with both hands or if I need to spin it around, I can release it with one hand, spin it around, and then grab it with both hands again. Uh, so again, I personally do not use frame grips, but I do know some people that love them, especially this one that has the little locking nut on it. They seem to like that a lot, um, so you have better control of the frame. So now you have it. Use them if you want. I personally do not. Uh, so enjoy your day, and thank you for watching my video.